Hi, this is a video walkthrough of using alternate widget libraries in MetaWidget. This example is taken from part 2 of the MetaWidget tutorial. First, I'm going to deploy the address book sample application that comes with the MetaWidget distribution. The address book sample has several different versions for several different UI frameworks, including Swing, Struts, and Android. But here, I'm going to deploy the Java Server Faces version. Let's take a quick look at it. You can see it's a simple JSF application that has a summary screen of contacts in an address book. Then I can click through to an individual contact and edit it. Both these screens use several meta widgets but the shell of the screens, like the colors, images, and fonts, are all built using standard JSF. MetaWidget only tries to generate the inside of each screen for you, not dictate your whole UI. This lets you build your UI the way you want to, while still saving a lot of boilerplate code. You can see the fields MetaWidget is generating are using standard JSF components. This is the default. But MetaWidget can use third-party component libraries too. To demonstrate, I'll go into the exploded war that Tomcat generates and find the MetaWidget XML that configures MetaWidget. MetaWidget uses a concept called widget builders to build the widgets. By default, MetaWidget implicitly creates some widget builders for us. So if we're going to override the widget building, we better make sure we include the implicit ones first. The implicit ones are an overridden widget builder, which looks after places where we manually override some widgets in the JSP, a read-only widget builder, which looks after read-only screens, such as before we clicked edit, and finally, HTML widget builder, which is the standard JSF component. To these, I'll add a Rich Faces widget builder. Then I'll restart Tomcat. And refresh my browser. Now I'll go in and edit a contact. You can see the screen looks much the same, but this time MetaWidget is using the Rich Faces widget library in addition to the standard JSF components. So it's chosen a date picker here for this date property. And here it's used a slider because this property declares upper and lower bounds in the back end. As well as input widgets, like date pickers and sliders, MetaWidget can use third-party layout components too. At the moment, this application is using JSF output text components as section separators. But we can decide to use a rich faces tab panel instead. So I change MetaWidget.xml again and tell it to use a rich faces tab panel. Then I restart Tomcat. And refresh my browser. Notice how now the contact details and other sections are laid out as tabs. This demonstrates how easy it is to leverage widget libraries with MetaWidget. You can even mix widget libraries such as Rich Faces and Ice Faces by adding more widget builders into the pipeline. That concludes our video walkthrough of using alternate widget libraries. Thanks for listening.